DesignCAD doesn't have a true rounded edge feature. In this tutorial, we will show how to create rounded edges on simple polyhedron. I assume, to start, that you have seen the other tutorials and know the basics, how to zoom in and out, how to draw lines, how to snap to midpoints, etc. We'll start by drawing a polygon. We'll make it a six-sided one. We'll activate the H key so we can draw straight out in the X direction. Use relative motion. Use any dimension for the delta Z. Now we'll set units for the box. We set the units by typing U. We'll go to one side and the other side and we'll set these each edge to 10 units. Now we'll extrude the box. Select our object. Type X for extrude. Click on a corner. Relative motion. We're going to go up in the delta Y direction. We'll make it 20 units. Control W so we can see everything. And while we have our box open, we'll set it to color by layer. Now we'll open the layer tool with the letter L. We'll make our current layer, we'll call it Guides. And we'll assign a color, we'll make it gray. So it's unobtrusive. And we'll go to another layer, we'll make that our current layer, and we'll call it rounded. And we'll lock the guides layer. Now we're going to start and draw our edging profile tool. We'll do this. We'll start by starting a line. That's letter V if you need a reminder. We'll do a mid snap. That's control K. Turn off H if it's still on. We've drawn one of our lines and now we'll continue downwards. Turn H back on. Go straight down a bit and enter. Now let's fillet the two edges we've just made. We can use F to start the fillet tool. We'll set the radius to 1. Click on one line, click on the other line. Now we'll delete this part of the line and this part of the line. And we're going to draw a line straight down from here. Click here. Make sure our H restraint is on. Now we'll draw a line straight out from here. To do that, we'll use the perpendicular tool. Click on the end here and K to snap to the line. Now we'll trim this. Let's zoom in a bit. We will trim. That's the letter E. I have it set up to trim picked segments only. Snap to the line there. Turn off our H restraint. Use this as the trim line. Now we have our profile, but we need to bring it together. We can use B for uh, bunch. Yeah, that's the ticket. What we've done there is we've combined 
these lines. And now we want to make this into a plane. Type the space bar and then up in the command line type make plane and enter. Now we'll quickly create a measure tool that will be used in later stages. We'll just take start a line, click on this corner, click on this corner, enter, select the line, move it out a ways, select it again at the top, move it down to this corner right here, click and put it there. Over in the info box, enable fixed line weight, move it up to 25. This will make it easy for us to see. We're going to need to see it when we're moved out a ways. Now we need to create a little racetrack for our profile to run along. So we're going to zoom back out. Just zoom in on the top of the object and we'll start drawing lines. And we'll snap from corner to corner to corner corner to corner to corner all the way around. Now we'll select that and we'll zoom in on our profile and we're going to use the parallel tool and just we can select selected entities only just to be sure. We're going to pick up on the line we just drew, I'm using K. I'm going to go into the point here at the top of our profile. Click there. Now we can move back out and we can get rid of the outer edge. And now we want to fillet this to create our racetrack. We might want to adjust the angle a little bit. Use the F key to start the fillet. This time the radius is going to be half of what we used before, 0 0.5. You may find that something else works better for you depending on what object that you're using. Um, so now that we've started this we're going to hit escape because we're going to do several of these fillets. So the easiest way is to double click now on the tool now that we've set it up and now we can go from corner to corner I'm using K at each corner K K K K K and enter to stop. Okay, now we want to try to select all the objects that we've just created by using the fillet tool. So I'm just going to circle around them like that and I've picked up the profile but I'll undo that by uh, shift selecting it. Now everything we have should be just our racetrack. I'll move it a little off center just to make sure that that's what we have. Okay, control Z to move it back. I'm going to use the B command to bind everything together. We don't need to make this into a plane yet, but we will be doing that. To make this easier to find later on, and as a precaution, I'm just going to give this the name track over in our box there. Now we're going to zoom in on the profile. We're going to select it and we're going to set handles. You do that with control H to start the set handles dialog. Click up here in this corner, down here, and the far right corner. Sometimes you'll get results uh, when we do the following extrude that aren't what you want and then you may have to play with the order of the handles. 
Now we're going to start the sweep command. It's going to be a sweep extrude and we do that with control shift X and it will ask us for the line that we want to extrude along and so we pick our racetrack line okay let's zoom back out just to see what we have and there's our racetrack now this forms a nice little uh, shape around the top. Now let's turn off the guide layer. Use L to bring up the layer box. Now if we look at the shading Again, you can see we have a nice shape there, but it's all hollow here. So we're going to be filling in this hollow by using our racetrack, turning it into a plane, and extruding it downwards. That will give us two shapes. One will fill in that we can then uh, add together to complete a complete rounded top. We'll go back to wireframe mode here and we'll turn the layer back on to uh, we snap here and I got I got lucky uh, sometimes you'll you'll try to find that uh, that racetrack and you won't be able to find it but in this case I was able to find it first thing off if I hadn't been able to find it I could have searched for it by its name track using the shift F selection filter tool here's how we'd find the track using the selection filter go over to name find our named object add it here add to selection and now you see that we have it close out the box now we're going to zoom in we're going to make a parallel copy of our track that we'll be using in just a moment so we'll go over to the parallel tool we have selected entities only which means we can click with impunity here. Now that we've made that track, our next uh, thing that we'll want to do is to take this track and f use it to fill in the, the hole that we have here. We're going to do that by extruding. But first, we'll need to make this vector into a plane. Generally, when you extrude you want to extrude from a plane and not from a vector. We use our make plane command. Now we have a plane. We use the X command to start an extrude. Start here at the top of our profile. Go down to the bottom of the profile and enter. Now we'll go back out. And now we'll select, and I'm going to zoom in here for a second just so it makes it easy to see how we're selecting. We'll select the parallel copy of the track that we made earlier. And I'm going to back out just one notch. What we want to do is move this vector here that's currently at the top of the rounded edge to where the rounded edge ends right here and we'll do that by using setting the handle and this is where we use our little measure tool we made earlier now we can move this and we just go to the bottom of our measure tool 
and now we want to make it a plane just like we did the other racetrack. Now it's a plane. We're going to zoom all the way back out so we can see everything that's going on. All we need to do now to finish is to take this plane and extrude it all the way to the bottom. So we start extrude. And we click in the bottom of our little measure tool. Go to the bottom of the guide. And there we have it. Now we actually have three separate solid pieces at this point. And if we wanted to, we could combine them with the control J command. Let's just see how they all look rendered together. We'll bring up our layer box. And we'll turn off the guides layer. the render tool. And you can see once we've combined these that we'll have one solid rounded edge polyhedron.